Okay, take a minute and think about what you know and understand of random variables. Can you define what a random variable is for me? Yes, no, maybe. Here I drew a bunch of circles. Now can you define a random variable? What do you think I drew these circles for? I drew these circles because they represent a sample space, the sample spaces of circles. On this sample space, we can define many different random variables, such as the radius of the circles, the circumference of the circles, the x position of the circles from a given point, the y position of a, the circles from a given point, the length of the vector to the center of the circle, from any given point, and so on. Any real number that you can define on all of these circles is a random variable on this sample space of these circles. You can extend this to any kind of sample space. You can take the sample space of human beings and define a random variable as the height of the human beings, the thickness of the skin of the human beings, the amount of walking a human being does every single day, and so on. You get the idea. You can define random variables on any collection of objects. So you can now find a random variable on the sample space of the things in your room, or any, any other sample space you can think of. Stars, grass, animals, absolutely anything. And on any one given sample space, you can think of many different random variables. These random variables form the foundation of probability. Remember, there needs to be a real number prescribed on a sample space. This collection of real numbers may be continuous or discrete. The function defining the probability of occurrence of each of these values of the random variable on a discrete distribution is called probability function. On the other hand, for a continuous distribution of random variables, it is called a probability density function. Next, we want to talk about what is probability distribution function. A probability distribution function goes from 0 to 1 and essentially defines what is the probability of being less than a given value on a given interval? So, for example, what is the probability that the height of a human being on a given sample space is less than 5 feet 6 inches? If the tallest human being on Earth was 8.5 feet, then the probability would be 1. If you summed up all of the probabilities of height less than 8.5. Similarly, if the shortest person on Earth was just 3.5 feet, you could say that all human heights are in the interval 3.5 and 8.5 and feet. And the probabilities together must add weight. That's it.